Hello, this is today's video for Thursday, June 10th, 2021. This is your daily. Starting off with the sign of Aries, you have the Four of Swords. Aries, with the Four of Swords, this is talking about you spending some time to uh, rethink a situation. It's talking about today that you're going to allow yourself a little bit of mental freedom, so to speak, trying to get the clarity that you need in reference to a particular situation. Aries, it's also talking about spending time by yourself, trying to put your priorities in order and get your thoughts together. For some of you, it's in reference to contemplating what your next move is going to be. So, Aries, think it easy, take it easy, and be easy. Leo, your card is the Five of Wands. So, Leo, there's a lot of arguments, disputes, and things just not balancing out right now. It might feel like, um, Leo, that uh, people are either against you or against your ideas. You might be kind of um, swimming against the current right now, but this is temporary. The later part of the day could definitely change because the card definitely wants to go in reverse. So the first part of your day may be filled with a little bit of challenges, but the rest of your day, uh, probably after 1, 2 o'clock, will definitely turn out a lot easier for you. So hang in there, Leo, and don't allow somebody to get under your skin. Sagittarius, your card is the Four of Wands. So Sagittarius, definitely something to celebrate here. There's definitely a union or uh, an occasion that is coming up. Perhaps you're involved in the planning for some party. Perhaps you're um, having this party yourself. Or you are planning on going out with someone uh, that is very close to you. But there's definitely something in your life or a very close friend or family member's life that you're going to be celebrating. So today talks about you just making those plans or getting ready for something. That is the fire signs. We are now on water signs. Cancer, your card is the three of cups. So, Cancer, either you are with a group of people having a good time getting together or there may be a third-party situation where love is concerned. There also may be something that is challenging you to want to uh, investigate the situation further or to be able to find the proof to the situation to bring it to somebody's attention. Today is going to be a little bit of a struggle for you trying to keep your thoughts on your work as you focus on the end of the day. Uh, trying to either drive past somebody's house or look past somebody's job. You, either way, you're definitely doing some searching today. So be careful, Cancer. Pisces. Pisces, you have the moon card, which means that there's a choice or decision here to make between two things. Some of you either are wanting the tame dog or you're wanting the wild wolf, or this is the way you're going to feel today, whether you don't know whether you can control yourself in a situation, or in fact, if you're going to respond to kind of like a wild dog, meaning that you'll be out of control, you're not going to think before you make a move or before you speak. So be careful of the words that you say, because remember, some words can't be unspoken. Once they're said, the damage is done. So be careful with the moon card here today again, because this also talks about secrets or something being hidden from you. So be careful, be careful. Scorpio, Scorpio, your card for today talks about a decision or a choice. You're juggling here, or you're juggling two things, or you're juggling two people, or you're juggling two situations, or you're juggling two boyfriends, or you're juggling two girlfriends, or you're just juggling what to do next. But it looks like you definitely do not have any balance going on right now in this situation. Maybe it's where your money is. Because this is the two of pentacles and pentacles talks about money. So you may be trying to juggle one account with another or juggle your bills or juggle a situation that's pertaining to money. Trying to keep a balance between your home life, your work life, and maybe helping friends or family out as well. So be careful with your monies today, Scorpio. Now we are on air signs, completed fire and water. We are on air signs. Gemini. 
Geminis, you have the Four of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles, Gemini, this talks about holding on to your money. It's funny, I guess, um, taking a little lesson there from Scorpio. But definitely holding on to your money, making sure everything is adding up correctly. For some of you, you could be working in accounting, working with the credits and debits. Um, for some of you, this could be about spreadsheets. This could be about trying to get things uh, calculated or in order, trying to get one program to run into the other. For some of you, um, money seems to be easily slipping through your hands or something that you're paying too much on. There's something that you're going to check out today, and it could be in reference to consolidating some bills together in order just to have one payment. Libra, you have the King of Wands. It's like you're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for something to come. It's You're looking for the unexpected. But Libra, don't get up in your head. Don't go uh, too crazy with your imagination. Don't allow yourself to lose control of yourself. Whatever the problem is, as you can see here with this little Geico or whatever that is down there, something is actually small. It's almost unseen. Or somebody's definitely sneaking around and not wanting you to see something and not wanting you to know something. So be careful because somebody's definitely trying to keep something hidden or somebody is watching you, Libra. Somebody could be definitely watching you and coming around the corner before you know it. Um, be careful because also unexpected visitor comes in. Aquarius, your card for today is the Knight of Swords. You guys know this is my favorite card. This is an action card. It's, it's moving forward. It's making something happen. It means things are coming in fast. Fast messages, fast communication, um, fast endings. It could also be fast beginnings. So whichever applies to you, depending on who I'm reading for, this is in fact a general. So definitely a lot of answers here for many people. But definitely fast, fast energy. Last but not least, Earth signs. We are on Capricorn. Capricorn, your card for today is the Eight of Wands, which is fast movement. Messages coming in quickly, going to and from somewhere, maybe going back and forth and back and forth. There may be something to do with errands or delivery. There may be something to do um, with communication as well today. Uh, this is going to be on a personal level, not a professional level. This is also maybe you going to someone's house and then coming back and then going back again. So it is a back and forth and back and forth. So stay tuned for that because there's definitely something going on here as well that talks about uh, obstacles. So you may have to take the longer way, whether that's going to work, whether that's coming home, but there may be some detours or, or blocks or roadblocks that are in the way here. So just be careful and check out your surroundings before you go too fast. Also remember, go around. Don't go through puddles. You go through puddles, you can drown. Don't go, don't go through the puddle. So it looks like there's a lot of water here. Maybe this is reading for people in Texas. But this is definitely a lot of water going on here. And it's talking about you're going to have to go a different route. Don't take unnecessary risks. Taurus. Taurus, your card is the Seven of Wands. So Taurus, you've kind of made a decision on where you would like to plant your feet. Or maybe where you'd like to purchase a home. Or where you'd actually like to work. Or the relationship you'd actually like to be in. Whatever this is for you. Taurus, this talks about with the Seven of Wands, that you want to kind of like mark your territory. You want to save your seat, save your spot. For some of you, this could be making reservations. For some of you, it could be getting season tickets. For some of you, this could definitely be an event that's coming up. Uh, and you want to make sure that you have a good seat, whatever that's talking about. For some of you, this is just simply... Showing somebody what's yours and not willing to share it with other people. For some of you, this could be a card about options. Having more than one option. So be careful 
or your partner could have more than one option. So be careful with what's going on around you. Pay attention. And um, remember that X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Virgos. Okay, Virgos. So you have the King of Cups. So either you are waiting to give your cup of love to someone or someone is waiting to give it to you. This is definitely somebody who is between the ages of maybe 25 and 35. This is a person who may be um, very good looking. They could also be uh, very energetic. But this person is also very laid back, meaning that this person takes things in stride. This person also is very good financially or very stable financially. Um, this person is going to uh, find a place for you or invite you to a place. This person is also looking for love. So if you are just involved now with somebody new, and this sounds like the person that you could be involved with, then know that this person is not here for a one-night stand, but is definitely looking for a commitment or a relationship. Now at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to give you a card for the room. And the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles. So with the Five of Pentacles, it talks about feeling like you were left out in the cold, feeling like you were not someone's choice. It also could be feeling as if um, somebody didn't notice you, somebody uh, didn't care. For some of you, this is definitely talking about the help is right there in front of you, but you're not going for it, or you're not asking somebody to help you. It also can talk about um, you finally found your way, like you know which way to go, and you have somebody that's going with you. This can also talk about, um, with this card, it feels like there's a lot of faith here in this card. This card can talk about having the faith or keeping the faith. And because you're going past a church here, it's definitely talking about, you know, you're welcome to go inside. When you see the pentacles on the window, which doesn't so much represent money, but it does represent wealth. And wealth in the fact that showing how powerful God is and that God does love you. So showing you the way to go. Those pentacles in the window is trying to get your attention to tell you to come inside. There's no reason to stay stuck out in the cold. So be very careful with your choices and decisions today. Okay? But it's definitely in reference to um, getting pregnant easy as well for this card. So be careful um, for those of you who have this sign and you realize that you do have the Five of Pentacles here. It is definitely also talking about family. But for some of you, it is about leaving you out in the cold or somebody not caring. Somebody turned their back on you or somebody um, deserted you, feeling abandonment. So whatever's going on with that, don't allow it to take up your whole day. Change your, your thoughts. Change the stinking thinking to something positive. And um, that's it. All right, you guys, this is the daily for today. And again, um, as you can see with my Alexa, it is Thursday, June 10th, 2000. 21 and i'm not moving that camera like that that camera is moving all by itself so i guess spirit is kind of saying all right what's going on here so you see 60s rock recently played all right you guys listen don't forget about the eclipse that's going on don't forget about this retrogrades don't forget about the energy so if a lot of you have been feeling kind of tired maybe getting up late for work maybe you know not hardly making it through the day. It's all about the way the planets are lining up right now. Stay tuned for tomorrow morning for the video that I'm going to come on and do live to tell you what the energies are about right now, why you're feeling a certain way, and how long it's going to last. All right, guys, so it's H&G. I'll see you guys really soon.